Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you. I hope you're doing well, and I'm glad, as always, that we can join together in this time of prayer. I'm going to switch up the scenery some today and just give you the full shot of the valley for the entirety of this prayer time. And I hope as you center yourselves and soak in the glory of God that you feel your spirits lifted. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as an Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue reading from 1 Thessalonians, now chapter 5. We appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you, Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of the prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Beloved, pray for us. Greet all of the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly command you by the Lord that this letter is to be read among all of them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle is the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the holy city of the Lord, the Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. Chapter 6, Jesus said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, 
where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. If your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray that the words that Christ has taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For God, you made us in your image and redeemed us through your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon all ministers of your church, our lay people, our bishops, our priests, and our deacons, and upon each and every congregation in this county and in this land and in the world, shower upon them grace as they are committed to your charge. Give them a healthful spirit of that grace, and that they may truly please thee Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. Amen. Great to be with you this morning. I hope that was a beautiful view and a great way to lift your heart. And I look forward to seeing, with you, seeing you next time and praying with you next time. Go in peace.